Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Signs of the Times 37 video. Today, the nation of Israel, on October 8th, formally declared war against Hamas. In fact, it was the 37th government in the history of modern Israel that declared war. Now, this government took power on December 29th, 2022. And had I known this was the 37th government in Israel's history, I would have made a video on it. Let me briefly go over the significance of the number 37 as it relates to the signs of the times. Let's go to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 13. Now, Mark 13 is the most concise account of the end times uh, given by Jesus. Let's go to Mark 13, 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. Now the phrase shall hear occurs exactly 37 times in the King James Bible. So I'm going to just briefly demonstrate that there is a 37 pattern in the, um, in the King James Bible concerning the end times. Now Matthew's Gospel reads a little different. It says, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Um, the word these case sensitive as found in this verse occurs exactly 666 times in the Old Testament, uh, 333 times in the New Testament, case sensitive. Therefore, the total is 999. Now, all rep digit numbers such as 666 and 999, 333 are all multiples of 37. The fact that the number 666 is a multiple of 37 should let you know that the number 37 is significant. Verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. In fact, there was an earthquake today, which would be big news if, if it were not for the events in Israel. In Afghanistan, um, preliminary numbers are that 2,000 people are dead. I'm sure that number will rise. But the phrase, shall rise, occurs exactly 37 times in the King James Bible. The phrase shall be occurs in 666 chapters of the King James Bible. The word divers occurs 37 times in the King James Bible. In previous videos, we saw the number 37 in the earthquake in Turkey at the beginning of this year and also in the Russian-Ukrainian war. Um, in fact, Moscow goes right through the 37th degree longitude east. That's where all the rumors of nuclear war are coming out of. This conflict in Israel can spiral, get larger, it could uh, grow to include Hezbollah, Iran, us. Um, again, this, this wars and rumors of wars is setting the stage for the rise of the Antichrist. Everything you're seeing is facilitating the rise of the Antichrist because there has to be this, this state of war in the world for the Antichrist to come in and make this great peace deal. Mark 13, 37. There are 37 verses in the most concise account of the end times. That is in Mark chapter 13. There's exactly 37 verses. And it reads, And what I say unto you, I say unto all, Watch. And in Mark 13, Jesus speaks exactly 746 words. That's 373 times 2. Now, 373 may not be a multiple of 37, but it is the 74th prime. And 74 is 37 times 2. And Mark 13, 37. Both star numbers, back-to-back -back star numbers. And it is in Revelation 13 that we're given the number of the beast. Again, a star number. Number 13 being on your money, on the dollar bill. And these star numbers are like the, the star of what's called the Star of David. I call it the Star out of Jacob. But anyways, uh, the Jews are familiar with the number 37. It is significant to the Jewish religious people because Sarah lives exactly 37 years after Isaac is born. To state it another way, Isaac is 37 years old when Sarah dies. And the name Sarah occurs exactly 37 times in the King James Bible. And it did not take long for the number 37 to show up in the news. Here the Palestinians today, October 8th, are reporting 370 Palestinians killed since Saturday. So, of course, this number is going to grow. But the fact is, is it's the number 37 is the number that often makes the news, or it's multiples. 37, 370, 37 times 10. The fact that this is the 37th government in Israel's history tells me that this is most likely the last government that will be in charge in Israel before the coming of Jesus Christ. Just like the 47th president will be the last president of the United States. Because the 47th president of the United States, in my opinion, will be none other than the beast. That is to say the evil beast that the false prophet um, causes people to take the number of his name. That, with that number being 47. If you want to know more about that, watch um, my Noah Code video. Um, the flood of Noah occurs on the 47th day of the year. So the number 47, will, just as it was in the flood of Noah, the number 47 will be significant in the end times, being the number of the Antichrist or the beast. In fact, this 37th government of, of Israel was formed December 29th, 
2022. So if you count days from the time this government was formed until the time that Hamas attacked, that is 282 days. So that's 47 times 6. So the number 47 is in this incident as well. And think about Mark 13, 37. Jesus says, what I say unto you, I say unto all. Watch. We're going to be watching. This is a visual thing. We're going to see these signs. This war, these modern wars, are drone wars. That's what's unique. There's drones with cameras flying around documenting everything, and then it's being um, uploaded onto YouTube and various platforms for the world to see. So there's going to be no excuse. Like, I didn't see the signs that Jesus said were going to happen. We are seeing them, whether it be the wars, um, earthquakes, pestilences, COVID, all, COVID and its variances. Those are pestilences. I have no doubt that this number 37 is going to show up again and again concerning this 37th government in Israel's history going forward. We'll get confirmation of this, whether it be in the escalation of this war, um, the building of the, the third temple, or the arise of the Antichrist. Well, that'll do it for this short video. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.